Are you guys in fire away? Uh, Eli, this was announced last year, and obviously you had to kind of wait with, with everything with the pandemic, but over a year of waiting, just what's your emotions been processing this moment come Saturday? Yeah, just excited about it, honestly. Um, you know, I, I love Ole Miss, love my time uh, here, still am a fan and, and watch the team and root for the team. And, and uh, you know, while I was playing and even more now, to get to really keep up with it and, and everything that's going on. So, uh, you know, enjoyed you know, grew up an Ole Miss fan, coming to games, coming to the Grove and, and watching them on TV and to get to play, you know, be here for five years and to play and, and to, you know, uh, uh, have my jersey retired up there next to my dad uh, and Chucky Mullins is, is going to be special tomorrow or Saturday. <laughs> Eli, do you have a, a favorite memory as a player here? You know, a lot of great memories. I think, you know, home games, uh, you know, beating Alabama my sophomore year was, uh, you know, was pretty special. I hadn't beaten them in 12 years and kind of have a, a two-minute drive uh, hitting towards Sanford down the right sideline, hitting Joe Gunn on a swing route to the left to, to beat them in the rain was, was, uh, was awesome. Uh, my junior year beating Florida here when they're, you know, a top five team in the country. Um, um, you know, in my you know, senior year, just uh, be, being with a lot of guys, uh, we came in, a lot of us red-shirted, um, and to kind of be there with five, you know, five years with a lot of those guys and to have the senior year that we did and then go to the Cotton Bowl and, and finish off with a win there was pretty special as well. Uh, kind of talk with Peyton, how, how do I enjoy life after football? And he kind of gave you some pointers of how to kind of enjoy that first season, not, not out there. <laughs> um, you know, I think, uh, uh, figured it out. It was a little bit different. You know, I, I retired in February and then, and, and, um, uh, you know, and, and basically, yeah, in March, a pandemic hit. And so I was, I was quickly, uh, you know, uh, teaching uh, three, three girls uh, school every day and, and throwing a one-year-old running around. It wasn't the easiest thing. We actually spent a lot of that time here in Oxford. We came back here for most of April, May, and June. And, um, uh, which was nice, just that you know we haven't gotten to get here as much as we'd want to with kids and everything. So uh, spent time and it was you know um, you know enjoy being with the family, going on bike rides, you know cruising through campus. Uh, I still knew how to get into the stadium, get my secret source to get into the stadium, and and you know did some bike rides through the stadium, threw some routes on the field to the kids, and so. Um, and, you know, and, and try to find a way to enjoy that time. So it's been it's been fun. It's been fun, kind of teaming up with Peyton uh, again and doing the Monday Night Football deal. And so we're we're having fun doing that. Speaking of the Monday Night Football, when you talked with Saban on the broadcast, he remembered almost play for play the LSU game when you guys played. How cool is that to kind of talk through that game with him? Yeah, um, you know, it was a lot of fun. I got I, I got to, um, you know, sit down with Coach Saban this summer for a little bit, went, went to Tuscaloosa and, and sat down with them and talked a little bit about um, that game, uh, my, my sophomore year in Baton Rouge. And uh, and then, um, you know, he, he didn't like talking about that one that much. He kind of liked talking about the one our senior, my senior year, they came here and beat us and, um, you know, so close to winning that game and, and going to the SEC championship. And so, um, you know, it was a great season, but it was great. You know, Coach Saban uh, has so much respect for him and what he's what he's been able to do. And um, you know, we had 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 fun having him on the show, and, and for me getting to hang out with him for a little bit. How sincerely did you and Peyton actually try to broadcast last Saturday's game? Was that just social media joking, or was that something you wanted to do? You know, it, it kind of got. Uh, it started off as a social media thing uh, back in the day, or, or you know, a few weeks back, and Kiffin kind of bringing it up and, and Coach, but. Uh, uh, it got it, it got brought to us. I think Peyton was out of town. Uh, he he had a trip uh, kind of planned that he just couldn't you know couldn't do it from too far away, and so it just kind of gave me an opportunity to rip him a little bit and, and get on him. Uh, he's not on social media, so it makes it even better. He doesn't see a lot of the stuff I say, so uh, you know just a chance to kind of jump on him. But um, you know, it was obviously. Uh, it would have, you know, you kind of have all the setup. We have all the infrastructure to do those games. It just didn't work out with the timing. Uh, obviously, you had your Heisman, Heisman season here. I mean, if you kind of talk with Matt Ever with all the Heisman talk and expectations that he's kind of going through this year, I mean, if y'all two ever kind of just sat down and talked how to handle that? Yeah, no, we haven't, we haven't talked about the Heisman. It's something, you know, when I was here, I, didn't, I didn't, never talked about it. I, I think, uh, I, you know, I would say for, for Matt, I think his uh, uh, focus is just on winning games and, and trying to, you know, uh, 
Um, you know, now that you know Alabama's lost, now you know there's a chance to win the West and just kind of um, you know keep keep playing and just win it each and every game. All all the times and stuff just kind of takes care of itself. If you're playing well, you're winning games, you're doing your job. So it's not that's not the I wouldn't think the main focus for him. And he's had a great season. He's played so well. Um, you know, 30 rushes last week against Tennessee. I uh, just sore. If I got if I rushed it 30 times, I'd be in bed for about a week uh, as well, just trying to get back uh, get back up. So hopefully he can he can get up and, and play this weekend. Eli, yeah, like kind of a straightforward question here: How's it how's the new role with the Giants? How's that been? You know, it's been good. It's been good. Just um, you know, that's just those are the people I've I spent the last 16 years of my life with and and uh, feel you know very comfortable with and spent you know. Up in New Jersey, so to, to you know, uh, stay involved with the organization was was important to me, um, and uh, just kind of figuring out that role. It's still a little a little different with some of the, the rules with the with the COVID restrictions and whatnot. But uh, having fun and, and learning learning kind of the the business side of everything. I've been in parts of that facility I'd never been in before. I uh, didn't know it existed. Uh, kind of the business and marketing side of it never. They were popped over there, but uh, uh, doing doing some fun things with them. Did Ole Miss ever approach you about retiring your number sooner while you were playing, or was this just kind of a first time thing? Uh, no, first time. I think it's a retirement thing. I think they kind of wait till you're wait till you're done uh, playing and uh, 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 threw it out last year uh, during dur during the spring, and um, you know, kind of you know, said we could still do it last year during the season. I said I don't I don't want to do it to a. Uh, <laughs> Uh, when there's you know ten thousand people in the in the uh, in the crowd, it wouldn't quite feel right. So I think it's, I, mean, I was excited for Saturday. Uh, you know the, the team's playing great at LSU um, or you know, LSU coming into the game, so it should be a great atmosphere and, and uh, uh, should be a great day. Eli, you've spent so much of your life uh, around this program. Have you ever envisioned what that moment of standing on at the middle of the field and, and, and having that retirement ceremony is going to be like? No, I mean, that was, that was never the focus. It's never the goal is to get your number retired. It's really to win games, to, to you know, try to win an SEC championship, go to a good bowl game. Those, those are always the thing, uh, the things you're thinking about and, and, and working towards. So it's never about, you know, I never thought, you know, that would ever be a possibility or, or even while I was playing and coming back here for games, um, um, you know, never thought about this day or, or this ever happening. So, um, uh, you know, and Keith Carter came came uh, came over to the house uh, last year and and uh, you know surprised me and told me that I was I was shocked and, and um, you know just just honored. You know, obviously love 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 Ole Miss, love my time here, still love being here, and to uh, again to have kind of my number up there next to my dad. Uh, will be will be pretty awesome. You, you just mentioned that. I mean, what what does it mean to you and your family? I mean, for for this this opportunity for you. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just um, you know, I hope I hope my parents are proud of me, uh, and uh, you know, I, I think they'll enjoy that day. I know I know the way they feel about Ole Miss. I think you know, my my senior year, I thought my mom was gonna roll back in school. She was here so so often, and uh, you know, and she you know they love coming back here, uh, and even these last. Uh, 17 years that I've been away, uh, they still still come back and, and have their place here and love love Oxford, love Ole Miss, um, love rooting for the team and everything around the whole university. So it is a uh, a special place uh, for for our family. I mean, I have so many memories, uh, not just while I was playing, but uh, obviously for my parents who went here, uh, for my wife and I who went here, our kids that have grown up going to games uh, around here. So. Um, you know, just so many great memories and great times, and, and um, this will be a special. There's a third generation coming on a recruiting visit this weekend, too. How surreal is it for you for all this happening and also Arch kind of being here potentially following? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm excited excited uh, uh, for Arch and everything he's going through. Uh, I have not seen him play in person, uh, just with everything going on. Uh, so I've been able to stream some games and, and talk to him and, and uh, keep up with him. So I'm excited for him to... Just go through. I, I told him, just hey, and enjoy being a junior in high school. This is a great time in your life. Go play, you know, playing football with your uh, with your best friends and guys that you've grown up with, and you've played little league baseball with, and you've played football at recess with your, your whole life. So enjoy, enjoy this time. Go out there, you know, try to try to win a state championship, and kind of keep the focus on that, and and you'll figure out um, you know the right spot to go to college and, and everything after that.
Just give you a chance to see a lot of teammates and things on Saturday. It looks like you're slow with people in town, just more players. Yeah, you know, it's it's been fun um, kind of keeping up and, and, and texting and calling with some guys these last few weeks. And, and so I'm going to get to – uh, get together with a lot of them uh, tomorrow and, and on Saturday, but uh, just to see some guys I hadn't seen in a long time. You know, it wasn't it wasn't always real easy to um, stay in touch with everybody, and you know, I wasn't coming back for many games, maybe one game a year, and so uh, this is an opportunity to see some see some buddies, and you know, like it is with every team, there's some guys I've I've, I've stayed in touch with, some guys I've you know been, been in weddings and, and vice versa, but then there's some. Um, you know, you just haven't talked to as much that I've you know, been able to reach out to and get to see him. So uh, it, it'll be it'll be uh, exciting to catch up with so many guys and, and get to hang out with them.